Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We've got an Ask a Ninja question from Stuart in Northern Ohio, and he's got a manufactured home. He wants to know, now, if you're not familiar with manufactured homes, typically what the, I've seen is that they will actually put uh, fiberglass insulation up against the floor and then put plastic to hold the fiberglass up against the flooring. So he's taken all that out and he's wanting to put foam board on the walls and seal up the rim joists and all that. And he's a little concerned because all of that plastic and fiberglass was holding all of his uh, uh, plumbing. And now he's concerned that if he, do, if he takes all that down, is it going to freeze his pipes? Stay tuned. Okay, Stuart, so that is a great question. Now, keep in mind that you did ask me if you needed a heat source in the crawl space if you're gonna have foam board and all your vents sealed and the rim joist insulation sealed up. And the, to answer that is yes. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to add a heat source because if you've got your ductwork going through the crawl space, it probably is leaking enough heat in the winter to be the heat source. But if you feel like it's not enough, if you go down there and you're checking the temperature, by the way, you might wanna buy a, a temperature and humidity gauge and put down there, and we've got those on our DIY store. But if you get a temperature and a humidity gauge, that way you're checking the humidity and the temp all year long. If you start to see, especially when it gets really cold, maybe less than zero outside, and you start to see the crawl space temperature creeping down, you can throw you a little safe heater down there, electric heater, and that heater is gonna more likely work because all the walls have been properly insulated and are, and are holding in that thermal energy. So in other words, if your duct work is down there, you should be okay. I'd still recommend you get uh, some sort of monitor to keep, a track, keep uh, your eye on the temperature. And if you start to see it creep down, then add that heat source you're talking about. Don't add a kerosene heater or anything that could catch fire. Make sure you get a safe heater down there, get it up on blocks, so that way it's off the ground and it, there's no potential risk of flooding or anything like that. So my name is Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Appreciate the Ask a Ninja and we hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.